by well-known artists. Works that would normally command astronomical prices can be had here for as little as six euros. Like this neon sign by Tracy Emin, which costs just 30 euros. But only in digital format for television, smartphones, or tablet PCs. A new online platform called Sedition offers this virtual art at affordable prices. The project was developed in London by internet media executive Robert Norton and gallery owner Harry Blaine. The idea was to create limited editions in digital format. The reality is that most people can't afford a Tracy Emin or a Damien Hirst or you know, Vim Vendor's print. So here at Sedition, what we do is we try and lower the barrier for people to become a collector for the first time. Robert Norton was previously the CEO of Saatchi Online, the world's number one online art marketplace for emerging artists. Now he's created Sedition as a social media site. Here, art collectors can connect with one another. First, users log in to the internet platform. Each user has their own profile, which they can use to present their collection. They can also follow the activities of other collectors. I think this concept of collector circles is something that exists in the real world, and it's something that over time we'll be adding to on Sedition and providing more value towards being a more serious or more heavily collected collector. The digital art platform went online in November 2011. Since then, some 40,000 art lovers have registered. 42 works by nine different artists are on offer. Prices range from six to 600 euros. The editions are limited to anything from two to 10,000 copies. The purchased artworks are stored in a virtual vault. Downloading them is only possible under certain conditions. They can be displayed in high resolution on smartphones, tablet PCs, and TVs with internet access. There's a growing acceptance of owning something in virtual format, as a virtual good. So on the one hand, for younger audiences, it's something they're very comfortable with already. On the other hand, for artists, many of them actually only work in this medium anyhow. Like Damien Hirst, a Turner Prize winner and one of the world's top earning artists, his spot paintings are now on show in eight galleries around the world. Hearst's success is also reflected in the virtual world. His spot painting, Xylosides, is Sedition's top seller. And at 600 euros, this Damien Hearst work is also the platform's priciest one. For the artists, it's about accessibility more than money. When you're an artist and you get to a certain level, it means that you've sort of forced yourself out of the market for a lot of people, and this makes um, pure art available. And also it's a new medium, which I think is exciting. Many artworks are already being created in purely digital form. British artist Matt Collishaw says that's another advantage of Sedition. A lot of the work that I'm making anyway is generated digitally. I'm using Photoshop and Final Cut and different editing programs. And it all looks great when it's there on the screen. Then often I'll output it to paper or to whatever medium it is, and it's not quite as good as it looked then. So if I can then make works that remain in that digital realm, they have the back line and they have the same quality that I find when I'm working on them. So nothing is lost there at all. The participating artists are also pleased that their works can be admired wherever the viewer chooses to take them. You can have it in something tiny in your hand or something on the wall. And the, this, is, this is surely a, such a unique thing for, for our time. And that, but that is the way everybody lives with everything else. It's obvious that art should address that. To establish contact with the artists, Sedition turns to Harry Blaine, one of Europe's best-known gallery owners. He doesn't view the digital art platform as a threat to the established art market. What it does do is opens up an incredible audience to engage with that work. Um, and I think that's, um, hopefully, that will uh, be achieved over, over the coming years through this medium. And that's how Sedition wants to be understood, as a platform that brings contemporary art into many more people's lives.